I am J-Dog, John Karstum. Hi guys, I'm out here with Sting of all people. We've got him because I've been out of town for 12 full days. It's just been amazing. And you know, there's something about coming into the Portland airport that I don't know if it's the air or something, but it's very, very refreshing. We're very lucky to live here, guys. Uh, let's say hello to Marie Johnson and Ashley Brisson. Hi, guys. Welcome to the show. Hey, just to update you, now we're talking about uh, lining our containers. I want to show you a finished product on what it might look like, uh, look like in a real container, shall I say. So take a look at this window box. Now we've just done this up. This is being sent out to a customer's house. Gary, I hope you like your window boxes. But you see how that moss cloth works really well. It just is a nice look for the winter time. Notice I have the hookahs. They're not going to trail a whole lot. I do have this Lismachia, the Creeping Jenny. I really use a lot of this for the winter time because it trails down. By the end of winter, it'll be trailing nicely. But some other mixes along here too. You notice that there's a lot of upright. The ajugas, pansies, the heavies, the carex. All of these tend to be pretty upright. Of course, they'll last all through the winter. That's kind of what makes us famous. We know what goes on through the winter time. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you what a moss cloth looks like if you line your window box. Just an idea for you. Hope that helps. Anyway, guys, enjoy the show. Always, always live your passion. See me right out. 